Hey, here is a good friend Arno from Golden Lion, and in this video, I'll show you how to customize an existing view and how to create a new view inside Zoho CRM. So the question is, what are views? So if you look at any module inside Zoho CRM, uh, view is a is a section where all the records are represented together. Like uh, the name of this view is all open leads. I can see all open leads in this section. Similarly, you can see a lot of other views which have been created by the system already, like my leads, today's leads, converted leads, so on and so forth. And in every module, so whether you are in accounts, contacts, potentials, you'll be able to see a lot of views which has been defined already, like the name of this view is all accounts, because you can see all accounts over here. Uh, there are other views as well, like my accounts or the accounts which have been created this week, the last week, 100 accounts, so on and so forth. So the first thing that I wanted to show you, like in a view, you can see multiple columns over here, like uh, in this view, like all open leads, the, the columns are the lead owner, that means who owns this lead, the name of the individual, like the lead name, the company, the phone number, email, city, lead source, industry, and the lead status. Now there could be a requirement where you may like to add a couple of other columns in this view, or you may like to remove a few from this view. So the way you need to do that is as follows, like put your cursor next to the view name and click on edit. So the moment you do that, so for example, you don't want to see the city over here. So just cross it out over here. And over here, you like to add, for example, the created time, that means the time at which the lead was created, or maybe the priority of this lead, that means uh, uh, whether it's a high priority lead, medium priority or low priority. And the priority you may like to move up. So use the move up button over here. Okay, and just click on save. So the moment you do that, you'll be able to see that priority has been added over here and the created time has been added over here. This is how you need to really add or remove any of the columns from any of the existing views. Now, if you look at the in the leads module, these are the views which have already been created, okay? Uh, so these are system defined views. Now, on top of that, there could be a business need where you need to create some of the custom views. So for example, let's uh, show it out over here. Like uh, you are in a business where uh, you could be selling to both to uh, B2B organizations as well as to B2C customers, okay? Like for example, the first lead that you see over here is an example of B2C because there is no company over here. The industry field is also uh, empty over here. While the second lead is an example of a B2B lead because you have both the name of the individual as well as the company mentioned over here. Now, if you need to really segregate uh, all B2B leads into one place, all B2C leads into one place, so you can create a custom view over here, okay? so. Go ahead and create a custom view, create view over here, and name it out as all B2B leads, okay? And then uh, choose the columns which should be there. So first, for example, the lead owner over here, then the first and last name is absolutely perfect, the company is fine, and then possibly you may like to choose the phone number over here, and then of, uh, for example, things like the lead source might be important, the lead status might be important, the industry might be important over here. And then you have a choice over here, like whether this new view would be visible only to you, which is the second option, or to all users, which is the first option, or you can pick and choose the users uh, who should have access to this view. So for example, you can say that this group of users should be able to see this view, or maybe this uh, users who belong to these roles can see this uh, view over here, or maybe this set of users can see this view. So you can pick and choose that part of it. So for this example, I'm saying all users are going to see this view. And then you can specify the criteria. Like for example, if it is a B2B lead, that means uh, the organization name uh, would be filled up. So over here you can say the company, okay, uh, is not empty. Okay, so that's the criteria that you're setting over here. Based on that, it will apply the filter and the moment you save this part of it, you'll be able to see that 
uh, it has filtered all the applicable B2B leads over here. Okay. Now, that's how easy it is in terms of creating a view over here. Similarly, if you want to create a B2C uh, leads view, you don't need to start from the scratch. What you can do, like, there's an existing view over here. Just go ahead and clone this view. Okay, so that it will create a duplicate over here. Just clone this view and modify it over here. You can say that all B2C leads over here. Now, in case of B2C, there is no company. Okay, so delete this part of it. There's no industry. So remove this part of it. And over here, you need to kind of change the criteria because the company over here is empty. Okay, because it's an example of B2C lead. So just save it over here. So over here, it has created uh, all B2C leads into one place. Now, if you look at over here, okay, these two new views have been created over here. All B2B leads and all B2C leads. Okay, now these are all examples of how you can create a custom view. Now, there could be a lot of other ways you can use that. For example, you may like to create a custom view like all organizations or all leads which belong to the financial services industry. Okay, create a view for that. Or all leads, wherever the lead status is contacted, okay, create a view for that. Okay, so or for example, all leads for a particular city create a view for that. So there could be uh, a lot of ways where you can create uh, custom views and take advantage of that. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have got any question, uh, please don't hesitate to visit the Golden Land website, which is glandconsulting.com. And over here in the contact page, uh, leave your details over here, okay, in this section. And we promise to get back to you uh, exactly within 24 hours. Thanks so much for watching this video and have a great day ahead.